Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Ashley. Today we're going to be talking about Maybelline's new Instant Age Rewind 4-in-1 Perfector. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and also click on the bell so you can be notified of all of my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So this product retails for $14.99 on Maybelline's website and it comes in only six shades. They do claim to be self-adjusting, um, but I do think that they could do better with the shade range. This claims to be a whipped lightweight texture that blurs, pores, conceals, blemishes, mattifies, and even skin tone all in one easy step. So the four benefits are that it's a primer, a concealer, a powder, and a BB cream. So we're gonna be testing all of those claims today. If you look at the ingredients, it does have a lot of dimethicone, which will give it that smoothing, blurring property. The packaging is a really nice lightweight light pink squeezy tube it's interesting because when you shake the tube you can kind of hear like the product rattling around in there because it's so thick and whipped it's not really liquidy it almost feels like or sounds like uh, play-doh or something you can see the texture it's very very whipped and very velvety on the skin it's so lightweight and airy i've never really felt any other product like this you can definitely feel the dimethicone the slippy sort of texture that you would get with like a benefit professional so to test it out i just started by applying product on half of my face with a brush and you can see that the shade is a lot darker than my skin tone. I use the shade light medium just because I do have self tanner on and you can see it evened out my skin tone. It gave a nice tint and it concealed a lot of my redness. On the other side, I applied it using a damp beauty blender and I will say that I prefer the sponge to the brush application just because I feel like the moisture from the sponge helped it to blend a little bit easier. Overall, I think it looks really nice. It feels super lightweight on the skin. It just gives you like a sheer to light coverage, but it really does even everything out and blur your pores really well. I was really impressed actually. I feel like my pores look visibly smaller. It wasn't sinking into my lines. The only thing is that as you can see, it can get a little bit patchy if you're using a shade that's a lot darker. So I finished up my makeup around 11 o'clock and I really love how it looked on the skin. It just felt super lightweight and natural. It gave me the perfect amount of coverage for every day, just sheer to light coverage. And it made my pores look like non-existent. It wasn't sinking into my fine lines. So I was really impressed. After about six hours of wearing it, it did wear off slightly around my nose, as you can see in a little bit around my chin, but overall I feel like it held on really well and it wasn't sinking in into any of my lines like most foundations do. So I really liked that about it. Um, a few days later, I tested it out again using my hands to apply because that is a way that Maybelline suggests applying it. And I do really like applying it with my fingers. I feel like fingers or sponge is the way to go. Maybelline doesn't recommend building it up, but I wanted to just to try and see how much coverage you can get. I don't think it looks bad when you build it up. I just don't think you're going to get like medium coverage. I also tried it as a concealer and you can see that it doesn't do much as a concealer. It kind of evens out any darkness or discoloration, but it's just a very, very sheer sort of tint. So if you're looking for a concealer that's really going to hide blemishes, I don't think that this is going to do the job but it's okay for just like a very minimal concealing, I guess. Kind of like the matte version of a Glossier stretch concealer. So yeah, this is how my makeup looked after I finished and I really love how it looks again. It's just so natural mm. and blurred. Okay guys, so the last way that I tested this product is as a primer and I just applied my Kosas Revealer Concealer actually all over and I will say that this product as a primer adds a lot of coverage so i got a very full coverage flawless look if that's what you're going for i think you'll like it for me it did feel just a tiny bit heavy on the skin so it's not exactly for me and my preferences it was just a little bit too full coverage and a little bit too heavy but it does smooth the skin nicely and add coverage so if that's what you're looking for then i think you could really enjoy using this as a primer so yeah guys overall for the four claims i think it does work well as a bb cream or like a 
base product. To me, it's not really a BB cream because BB creams usually have some skincare benefits. This is more of just like a really lightweight foundation or tinted moisturizer. Not really moisturizing, but just a light base. It does have kaolin in it, which is sort of a skincare ingredient that's used commonly in like face masks and stuff. It, I do think that it functions as a powder because you don't need to set your face. It sets down completely and it stays in place really well. As a concealer, I think it's kind of not really a concealer. It's very, very sheer. It's like a matte Glossier stretch concealer. It's not really going to do much as a concealer. But as a primer, I do think it works, especially if you have very textured, oily skin. I think you'd really like using this as a primer because it's like a silicone primer, but with extra coverage. So I think that people with oily and textured skin will really enjoy it for me and my dry skin. It's a little bit heavy, but it does work as a primer like it's marketed to. So overall, I think it does work as a base, a powder, and a primer. Concealer, not so much, but pretty much 75% to 100. It's a really great product and I actually really like it. I love it a lot more than I thought I was going to and I will definitely continue to use it, especially in the summer months. I think it's just a really great everyday product that gives you sheer to light coverage. It looks really natural. It doesn't feel like anything on the skin and I think it's going to stay in place really well because of that powdery finish. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!